Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to be covering input and output tables that involve adding and subtracting. And there are four examples that we are going to go through together in order to get this down. Now, each input and output table, we are going to find the rule for and then also fill in the blank part of the table based on that rule. So let's jump right into number one, where we have our inputs going across 8, 13, 25, and 26. So we need to determine what's happening to our inputs in order to get the corresponding or matching output. So for example, we have an eight here that we're starting with. So what is happening to that eight to get it to equal three? And it needs, this rule needs to work for all of these numbers in the table. How do we get 25 to equal 20 and 26 to equal 21? We should notice that our values of our inputs, those are decreasing, right? Eight to three, 25 to 20, 26 to 21. So this is going to be subtraction. So what is being subtracted from each number, each input? And the answer is five. 8 minus 5 is 3, 25 minus 5 is 20, 26 minus 5 is 21, so our blank, 13 minus 5, is 8. And our rule then is we are taking our inputs, subtracting 5, and that will equal our output. So number 2, we start with a 3, and we get 10, 8 to equal 15, 20 to equal 27. So we are increasing in value from our input to output. So this is going to be addition. And what are we adding to each of our inputs in order to get that output? Hopefully you're thinking adding seven for each input. Three plus seven is 10, eight plus seven is 15, and 20 plus 7 is 27. So our blank here, 5 plus 7 gives us 12. And our rule is going to be our input plus 7 equals our output. Number 3, this is a vertical table, so it goes up and down, but it's the exact same thing we did for numbers 1 and 2. So let's start with our four and the corresponding or matching 19. So how do we get four to equal 19, nine to equal 24, 17 to equal 32? Well, we are increasing in value, so it's going to be addition. It's just a matter of finding out exactly what we're adding to each input. And the answer to that is 15. So four plus 15 is 19, nine plus 15 is 24, 17 plus 15 is 32, and we need to figure out what plus 15 equals 64. So what we can do, we can do the opposite to that 64. We could do 64 minus 15 to figure out what goes there. And the answer is 49. And let's double check. 49 plus 15 is 64. So our rule is input plus 15 equals our output. And lastly, number four, let's start looking here with our matching terms nine and three. So we are decreasing in value, 18 to equal 12, 30 to equal 24. So all of them are decreasing and it looks like we are subtracting six from each of our inputs to equal the outputs. So for our blank, what minus six gives us two? And hopefully we're thinking eight. Eight minus six gives us that two. So our rule is our input minus six equals our output. So there you have it. There are some adding and subtracting input and output tables. Hopefully those examples and explanations helped. Thanks so much for watching. 
Until next time, peace.